So today is going to be quite the adventure. We are heading for some flamping at Arcadia Municipal Airport, and we have an is not in the picture, but she will be. Uh, Bella is joining us for this adventure, so uh, it should be an interesting one. You want to call and uh, go ahead and get our clearance to taxi? Here we go. Semi Ground, Cherokee, November 9032, Whiskey at Billmar, requesting taxi for Southwest departure with information, Bravo. What kind of departure did you ask for? 9032, Whiskey, yeah. Ground, runway 15, taxi via Bravo Delta. Bravo Delta for 15. Copy, Bravo Delta to 15, November 9032, Whiskey. Bella, that doesn't even look comfortable. We sit up, baby. Oh, I'm ready. Bike controls are clear and correct. This, did you ask for a south departure? Yes. All right. You want to steer the plane? No. Just try it no. with the pedals so you can see how it works. No thanks. Just, I have my feet on the pedals too. Just give it a go. <laughs> Just push in the left pedal, try, and we're going to try to keep it right on the center. Okay. Listen, I can handle talking on the radio. I can't handle doing donuts in an airplane. <laughs> push the pedal. Push the pedal. <laughs> left pedal. Left pedal. Left pedal. All right. Stay. Try to stay on the center. Go ahead. Keep it on. Push left. Push left. There you keep. You got to keep it in, and then push right to go back to the right. There you go. Keep your feet on, both feet on the pedals. Oh, you're too far away, that's why. Kissimmee Tower, November 9032, Whiskey, holding short of runway 15, ready for departure. You can't say Delta anymore? I said hold short. <laughs> huh? Number 9032, Whiskey, Kissimmee Tower, proceed on course, runway 15, clear for takeoff. Got it. Copy. Proceed on course. <laughs> Clear for takeoff, November 9032 Whiskey. Fly good. good, land good. Land I love you. I love you too. They're left. Bye, good, Bella. You ready? Ready. Here we go. All right, let's run it up to 1800. That's 1800. Gauges are in the green. Fuel. Uh, airspeed's coming alive. Here we go. Let's roll on the power. And there's 50. And there's 60. There's 67. Let's go ahead and fly. Number 8, Alpha Uniform, runway 15, clear to land. Uniform, runway 15, clear to land. We are about five minutes out from Arcadia. 
Uh, we're, uh, yeah, we're about five, uh, maybe a little bit closer, but landing maybe five minutes. Good job. I didn't think, I didn't think you were up on that, so. Nope, not even looking at it. Oh, you're just guessing? My ESPN's My ESPN? going. Ready to land, girlfriend? Okay, traffic. Yeah, she was really good the whole flight, man. She's very calm. I gotta say, we have a good dog when it comes to flying. As soon as you get her out of the plane and around people, she becomes like, um, I want to, I want to meet you. I want to meet you. I want to meet you. She's just a very people person. Uh, that's a, what that's what you call it. A person puppy. Oh, uh, that's what is you that call what it. Is that what it is? Maybe. To the airport yet? Um, I don't know. Clearwater traffic. We're on flight one over Santee, inbound for landing in Clearwater. See it yet? Nope. <laughs> See it yet? Is it right in front of us? Yeah. Oh, the runway's going that way, okay. Yeah. There's also a grass runway that goes this way, but it's closed. Okay. I'm all about sightseeing, you know? I oh, know, it's okay. All right. Arcadia Municipal, November 9032 Whiskey Blue and White Cherokee's ending on 45 on the left downwind for runway 06, Arcadia Municipal. You're going to do one of those banking maneuvers, aren't you? Yeah, well, you got to turn left. We are a little high. Let's see if we can slip this a little bit. There we go. All right. Bring it back out. Almost down, Bella. Airspeed's at 80. Well, that's beautiful. I love this. We're going to stall right before we hit. I don't like that word. Wow, look how... Man, that was a horrible cross breeze. I did not get off center well. Yeah, we're here. So we just pulled up and... Uh, I see some bikes and... Yeah, so we just arrived. Um, only a couple aircraft here. I apologize about that landing. Uh, more to you and Bella than anything. That was that was atrocious. Um, it wasn't the worst. I, I mean, we're walking away, I know, but man, that was a horrible transition. Looks like a little country store out here in okay. the middle of... Well, that's good then. Let's... Uh, all right. Oh, by the way, if you're looking for fuel, this place is the cheapest fuel that you're going to find right now as of this day, $4.95 a gallon. All right.
Okay, so we got our plane, we have our plane parked at this point. Our tent is set up, they call it the honeymoon suite. I'll show you inside there in a little bit, but it is really just two single cots. It's actually smaller on the, uh, in real life than it looks on, on the website. The camera views with those fisheye lenses, man, they make everything look gigantic, but it's really just a, uh, I would say a 10 foot uh, radius. Type tent, it's sitting on a platform. You can see the platform is a little uh, worn on the sides here, so you gotta be careful of uh, the splinters falling through, the, oh, the screws sticking out. And uh, you saw where I came in at over there. And the FBO's over there. We're actually gonna go get the courtesy vehicle here in a minute. You can see it over there, it's the maroon van. There is some free firewood for you here. There, as you saw, there's a giant fire pit right here next to the pavilion. There's electricity running through the pavilion. You got a refrigerator you can store stuff in. Uh, there are grills if you want to bring your own propane. There are two, uh, there are two big propanes, but there is also charcoal grills over here and right over here. And so they ask that you keep your fires limited to the pavilion area because, well, they have the fire extinguisher here. So, but you can see all the picnic tables. This place is great. This is a uh, this is a really nice uh, airport. There are building more hangars over there, and they have the restrooms that are built up over here. They have two restrooms and two showers. So I guess if this place is full, then it could probably become, you know, a line. Uh, four restrooms or four showers in the morning. Luckily, there's only one other person coming in, so uh, I don't expect there to be too many problems. I'll put his name on one, one side and our name on the other. They have two cabins that they're currently waiting for permits. She said that they are not going to showers. They are not going to put beds or anything inside. Uh, they don't want to get into the laundry business and i don't blame them and the restrooms huh? very nice these are oh look at this hair dryers got hair dryers in here oh my goodness this is awesome i guess the uh, simple things in life huh Wonder if you catch like a raccoon out here, this is where you can wash it and clean it. Oh, well, no sink yet. Oh, well. They actually have some um, propane tanks, I guess, for the for the camping grill. I'll have to ask about that when I get up here. I don't want to lead you guys in the wrong direction. They are actually setting up these two identicals. These cabins right here. I guess there's no sense in showing both of them. As I said, they're just waiting for occupancy permit. Oh. And obviously, no, the door is locked, so. Yep, it's got uh, wooden floors, wooden walls, and it looks like a, I don't know, she said it was cedar roof. I don't, I don't think it's quite cedar, but this is nice. Yeah, our dog loves to loves to roll in the dirt, and uh, can't really take her into the courtesy vehicle. We're trying to <laughs> trying to look like a dirty dog. Oh. I got you. Come on. Let's see. Hmm. That's great. Okay, so there's the courtesy van that they give you to go into town. It's a two hour limit, they say. However, uh, at this point, we are the only ones camping here today. 
Uh, no, I take that back. There's someone coming in later. Someone's coming in later. So, um, two hour limit on that, but they're not here yet. So we could have stayed in town longer, but Publix is right up the road. Uh, Win Dixie's right up the road. So there's plenty of restaurants in town as well. delicious looking skewers that have peppers, tomatoes, shrimp, and chicken on them. We did forget any bit of spice, um, so they might be a little, I don't know, bland. bland, a little dry, but they're still looking absolutely delicious. So we're just waiting in line for fuel. We just wrapped up our overnight stay at our Arcadia Municipal Airport. Um, Bella had her first night of camping and did awesome, except for her roll in the dirt. So if you uh, are Facebook friends with me, you saw me post her free to a good home <laughs> because <laughs> she is no longer a white Labrador retriever. Yep, dirty dog. Um, but oh, so overall, this camping spot was uh, spot on for us. The amenities that they have here for flying in is incredible. I mean, you got a refrigerator, you have all the grills that you need, whether you want a charcoal or if you want a gas grill. Uh, they got the restrooms here. There's 23 uh, picnic tables on the outside of the pavilion. There's tables to set out on the inside of the pavilion. There's two showers, two bathrooms. They had a... Um Uh, the fire pit and all the firewood and everything to go with it. Definitely helpful having the refrigerator because we ran out to Publix yesterday and got some food. And then, um, I don't know, sat around for the afternoon and just kind of relaxed. Played some card games and then uh, made some dinner. Made some kebabs of chicken, shrimp, peppers, tomatoes. Yep. It was, it was really good. So, it was so. a good choice. I'm glad we came here, and I can see why this airport actually won General Aviation Airport of the Year in 2020. They've done a lot with this airport, from what I understand. I've never been here before, but this is a uh, it is a very nice FBO on side here. The courtesy car, as you saw when we when we took that out yesterday, the uh, the staff here is super friendly. So. Uh, I would highly recommend uh, coming out here, even if it's just coming out for a visit or the cheap gas. Four ninety-five right now. Back at uh, my airport, it's about seven thirty. Uh, it's four ninety-five here today. So we did find out too that um, only pilots can technically camp, but visitors can come and park the camping spots. Uh, we were in the honeymoon suite, but the camping spots are ten bucks. And it's, I think, only 5 or $10 to park overnight. Um, so if you had guests that wanted to meet you here to camp, that is also completely reasonable. Fly good. Land gooder. Land gooder. Love you. Love you. And you too, Miss Bella. All right, let's line it up here. All right. You ready to do this? Let's do it. Brakes are on. Comes the power. And brakes are on. And here we go. Gauges are in the green. Air speed's a lot. At 20. And there's 30. And there's 40. 
uh, short field takeoff should be coming up any second now. Try to do about a thousand foot markers. And let's get it up in the air. All right. There's a positive rate of climb. Canadian 032 Whiskey, you're number two. And you're following Cessna traffic. Ahead into your left, turning a mile and a half final. I'm number two, following Cessna traffic is on mile and a half final. I'll be looking for traffic, 32 Whiskey. All right. Let's see if we can find that other traffic, babe. Uh, 32 Whiskey has traffic inside. 32 Whiskey, very good. Follow that traffic. You're only 1-5. Clear, touch and go. All right, we're full stop landing for 1-5. I'm sorry, I'm just used to giving everybody touch and coast for the last one. <laughs> you are clear to land, rolling 1-5. Yeah, right, I got it, clear to land, 1-5, 3-2-1. Alright. And November 9, 4 9 Mike, ready to go whenever you can get us out. Century 9 4 9 Mike, it's me, Tara. Thank you, hold shirt 1-5, awaiting IFR yeah, release. Hold shirt 1-5, 9 4 9 Mike. Uh, 9 0 3 2 whiskey for Bill Moore. Three to Whiskey, Roger, right turn on Bravo, and uh, you can text to Bill Mar via Bravo Fox, right, monitor ground in case she has anybody coming out. There. Don't spin this thing on a dime, are we? Don't hit the car, though. That would suck. Hey, that would suck for you, I have a hoopy. <laughs> Alright. Lights off, 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 flaps down, and mixture's out. Hey, thanks for joining us today on our adventure back from uh, Actually for the last Arcadia. Twenty four plus hours. Yeah. Yeah. It was a great uh, it was a great trip and uh, we appreciate you joining us. I hope this uh, video helped you in knowing that uh, you can go out to Arcadia Airport and camp out there and some of the rules and uh, amenities that uh, I could not find online. So it was a uh, it was a great trip and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Have a great day.